NC Okay guys, now I got a special tool which I can control if all here is really nice or not. Um, okay, this time we got a problem on the cooler. <laughs> I can't believe. Oh my god, I can't believe. Okay, wait, I'm gonna... I just hope that the APU is not bended. So this will be a great... what calls... a great thing. Let's not be the APU. The APU looks good. <laughs> wow, I'm happy. I'm happy because the APU is not bended this time. But NSC found again a problem um, which I really, really don't like. And that's why they need here liquid metal thermal paste. Because it's bended, it's not really 100% clean work. And of course, you're gonna need liquid metal thermal paste. This is just simply, well, what do you guys think? <laughs> this is just simply. This is, you know, one and one is two. Two and two is four. And a shit work is a shit result. <laughs> I can't believe, guys. I don't know how to explain you, but I can't believe I'm so, so pissed right now. Wait, let me not just take a look. Um, let me take a look on the other cooler. Wow. Nice. Way better. Okay, so this is the cooler. Yeah, really nice. This is the cooler from the 1000 edition. And this one here is just amazing. So this one is okay. And now you can see that this heatsink here is really not looking bad. And remember that for you guys, for later. Let's turn it to that side. Okay, I have not just turned it to the shorter side. It looks really nice. Okay, I'm gonna now get the cooler. Now you can see it really great. Let me not just get it over there. Look at that. We got a bended um, cooler here. The heatsink is the surface where the CPU is sitting is bended. So um, look at that. See that? This is extremely guys. We got again a big problem here. Now ask yourself why they need your liquid metal. Now ask yourself why it's overheating. Okay, I'm not touching it all, so I'm, I'm not changing it anything. This is like this. It is not. Um, in the line. This is not straight. Let's put this guy like that. It's shaking around. It, it will not <laughs> look here on the right side. Look at that. See that? Uh.
look at the left side. So that means the, um, it makes something like a hill. So when I put that guy on the right side, you have on the left side lots of space which you can see the lights. When I put him to the left side, you have on the right side a lot of space where you can see the lights. That means when I put him on the right, he gets just like that because it's bended. When I put him on the left, he gets like that. And then I got lights on the right side because it's bended. Okay, so I hope you understand that. And I hope you know what I mean. Oh my God. I'm gonna put it like this. Yeah, still the same problem. And you can feel in the middle, it's, it's, he's just uh, trying to um, move. Uh, I'm gonna not just hold it nice and try to show you that. But you can see here on the right side, look, no. I'm pressing it down on the right side. See that? Wait, here, right side. And let me not just try to get no lights in the background. Oh god, look at this. Wait, so. Here, now, this is the right side. You can see how many lights. And this is now the left side. Right, left. So this guy spend it, guys. Can't believe. So guys, like you can see here, I have managed it to get, um, let's say, this side, which is normally from the 1000 edition. Um, I have now got my uh, back side from the 1100 edition I got prepared it so that it was able to get here inside with a bigger cooler and um, I was also able now to close it all so I'm gonna open it again for the last time now it looks like I'm gonna use the cooler the heatsink from the 1000 edition it was not planned but like you see it worked so it was not really um, made for, but I have done it uh, possible, let's say like that. I've made it possible. Let's now again lift it up. Uh, I'm going to try to lift it up on both sides, but I, I can already feel uh, it's it's getting hard. It's really, wow. This is a good sign. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go there. A lot of people, sh oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm going to be the first guy which going to use a PlayStation 5 with normal thermal paste without it gets overheating. But yeah, guys, now you know why it's overheating. And now you know why they need here liquid metal thermal paste. So if all is just in the line, if all is just great, why you need liquid metal thermal paste. It's it's okay, okay. I'm not talking about that liquid metal thermal paste is shit uh, because we already know, we all know that liquid metal has the best heat transfer. But um, look at this. Now here is nothing disturbing because I got the back plate, uh, the original back plate from the 1100 edition. So this is the back plate from this motherboard. <laughs> I'm going to also know uh, talk with you guys together what I have changed here to get this uh, fitted inside without problems. So the thing is, um, you got here, you can see you got the hole, uh, but the let's say the cooler from the 1000 edition has here no threadings for a screw. And then the other one, the other hole is on this side here sitting. You can take a look here. So on this side here, you have normally also a screw uh, to get, let's say, um, this one here, fix it on the cooler itself. I'm going to show you this in a few seconds. And then I have made here a hole myself because the place is already there. They have just let it like this, but they had here no hole. But I have made my hole for myself. That's why you can see here my, uh, yeah, drill and my machine and all the stuff. So because I have made here 
the hole so here it's always yeah fitting like original this one here is just fix it like it should be nice one um it's really holding very strong so that means i got here screw there here and there so the most is really holding very strong and later all the motherboard gonna get fixed on all over this place so i think now this should be no problem uh, all this working uh, as the screws they got here on this side and here so that means they come out there you know the screws for the clamps so you need to take care about these two screws one here one there that the screws have really placed on the back and you got here a hole yeah which is also on the yeah on the original cooler is the same you got uh, there or i think it was under there here uh, wait here and there you have a hole that the screw can get through and this is all just perfect it's all just perfect and look at that okay you can see we have here lots of pressure and here we have even more so here i could lap it a little bit just a little bit yeah but this is nothing compared to the other cooler okay so here um hope you can see that we have a minimum we got here um way more pressure as all the rest but we got a lot of pressure here everywhere that's what i like yeah um here again a quick update um i see that i can make here uh, a hole for the next screw so i'm gonna do here a small hole so i'm gonna be able to get here the thread um that i'm gonna be able to get a screw here inside so you can see here there is the screw the great thing is also that this mark here let's say this pin is just fitting perfectly like on the original one and uh, now i'm gonna do here the next hole because i can see i can get here a screw without problems okay so here should be no problem and then i can also here see that we may be going to be able to get a screw here inside but it should not be um how it calls fix it that much you can see here we could get it a little bit down but i'm not going to do that because uh, it will hold already very great and here you can also see that it looks a little bit up so if you gonna do here a hole like that you need to take care that you're gonna not fix it too hard let's say not too strong the screw or uh, the thing you can do is you can put some rubber under there see some rubber a little bit and then um yeah maybe i'm gonna do that maybe i'm gonna put a thinny rubber under there because i see yeah but it's already not bad see that so it's no hard for me to uh, record that wait give me a second oh, here again now with some lights and uh, let's just turn it to the back and you can see here um, when i'm just pressing it down see that see that this side gets there without problem here we have also let's say um a thread for a screw but this may be gonna just disturb for the motherboard you know because the screw is just sitting over there and the motherboard called cold get contact to the screw and i just don't like it but here you can see uh, the screw will sit very much down that means it's gonna sit uh, not on the top just like here and so the screws will not damage anything okay but i just wanted to uh, tell you about this hole here this will be possible and uh, this already is there this one not because uh, it's just not possible there is just uh, yeah the heat sink in the way it will just disturb and yeah so but it will be better than nothing believe me guys <laughs> you can trust my work so um i'm just testing right now to get this all in the case back and have also done here a hole uh, for the screw on the side here i have also put here some thermal paste to see if the screw gonna touch the motherboard so this is about i think it was about here this side here and the screw is not touching the motherboard which is really a great thing 
The other thing is now I was just yeah looking around and I saw hmm some kind of high here. <laughs> so I will not get here any HDMI cable or whatever inside. So I see that it is just looking too much up and all the rest is okay. On the other side, all is just perfect. All it fits really nice. Okay, so here all is sitting perfectly like you can see. The only thing I got is the back. But I have already managed it to see what is wrong here or let's say what is disturbing here and just take a look there inside, take a closer look. There is a plastic, a plastic, yeah, uh, for some kind of um, stable. So this plastic makes the PlayStation a little bit stable, but I need to cut it off. And uh, this is the way I need to go. <laughs> I will cut it off because so I'm going to be able to get this um, yeah, cooler here inside. So they changed that on the uh, 1100 editions. They have uh, just changed the case for some kind of stability or I don't know how to call so. But I need to cut it away. I have also um, put there inside a little bit uh, thermal paste because I just like <laughs> to test with uh, thermal paste when you just add some thermal paste or some kind of stuff like that. Um, then you can see on the other side where it was touching it. So you can use GP thermal paste, doesn't matter. You can also use some other stuff, but I use it thermal paste. So now I'm gonna now just turn this away and I'm gonna just put it here quickly that you can see it's touching over here. I had here no thermal paste. I just applied thermal paste over here to see where it's touching here on the cooler itself. So this is the side which needs to be cutted. I'm gonna go over there and then I'm gonna just cut some stuff here. And I have um, already mark uh, the position um, uh, so I know where I need to cut it exactly. I'm gonna do uh, a little bit better, um, let's say, marks, so I'm gonna really know where to cut it perfectly. Okay, I'm gonna now just do all my work because it's, yeah, a lot of work like you can see. And I got also here between the screw a little bit of, um, I don't know how it calls, some kind of protection like rubber. You can see it here a little bit. And it's just perfect because it's the same um, altur, it's the same size. And yeah, but for now I need to check this out and then I'm finished for that. <laughs> The next thing is the temperature sensor, which is going to take a lot, lots of times because I need to calculate where I'm going to let the cable get out. Yeah, guys, you can see I'm not finished. So, guys, now you can see all is sitting perfect. Um, here on the top, you can control it also because you got here this kind of um, hot calls stick or pin or whatever. So um, it sits perfectly on it. And you can see also inside there, I have just cut it out really nice and clean and I have about one cent centimeter uh, more place okay just to be sure yeah so it's fitting perfectly inside I have cut it nice and sexy and this is just the um, yeah the part which is necessary to cut off you don't need to cut uh, more and you can see also now that all is just there where it should be we are deep enough okay and here we got a small sponge, or I don't know what it calls, sponge pop. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like I told, it sits perfectly all. Um, now I'm gonna just turn it to this side. Check it here. Yes, nice and sexy. Here also sits perfectly, see that? That's why it's important to control that. Here also, see that? But this, I think, has not really changed on the new one. And um, we can also take a look here inside. And there we can also see that uh, the other side is really not disturbing. See that? So, here, yeah, this side is not disturbing. Here, the right side is all just free. And the right side, the um, what it calls the heatsink is really over there. See that? So, it's not really disturbing. That's the most important. I'm gonna check um, how it looks like with the other one. 
but um, yeah, it's okay. We have space. This is the most important. Maybe this one here um, should, need, should not uh, touch it, but um, yeah, I'm gonna check this all step by step. And then I'm gonna record again, but this is just that you guys can see that yeah, I'm working hard and I hope you are really proud of me. So um, I have now just got here some uh, thermal paste again, just to see if something gonna touch it. And I see it's touching over here. Okay, so this is uh, the front, which is there. And I'm gonna cut this till, I don't know, maybe all the way down, but I see it's touching, uh, like I told, also here, not just there, it's touching here too, okay? So it's just that you know, this side here, all the way there, you can let it, but uh, the second line, which is, yeah, here inside, is this one here, okay? Or let's say the first line, the first and the second, okay? So that you know. So deep inside, or let's say <laughs> deep inside, um, all the way down, this is just disturbing, okay? Here, I'm gonna clean this all again with my finger, just like that, okay? Now let's do a test again. I'm gonna press it down, just let's say, like the screws will do, or won't do, and let's test it again. Yeah, I can see again. See? Here, again. Okay, I'm gonna do perfect work, like always, and then I'm gonna record again. So let's go now. So yeah. Okay. So Okay now we can just need to Open the three port and all the stuff. So I hate it when I need to prove something, but this is like that. Not all the people believe that and so, alright, we're gonna now just light it like it is, then let's just connect the power cord first, always make the power off, oh, okay, so this is on this side, you need to turn it back, you need to turn it to the other side normally, yeah, okay, so this is normally the right side, um,
and then I'll just quickly put something under there because of the vibrations also and you just need to take care on the fan but I just want yeah, to place it like that for the video so it's okay now the power cord and HDMI cable Yes, yeah. So this is not the sensor, but this is for the next video. Huh. Okay, um, I have all. I forget nothing. Let's turn on the power right now. Click. So. TV. Okay, so we should see something. Now I got the other controls, I need to search it, I think it was this one. <laughs> okay, so, um, TV on. So, here we go. And now let's hope for the best, guys. Starting nice and sexy, and it's turning all this running. That's how I love it. <laughs> Hell yeah, without problems. This is so nice. And so quiet. Yeah. I got the fan just I already told you. So now, as I have solved that all with the problems with the heat sink and all, I think I'm gonna turn it a little bit faster. But I'm gonna do this on the next video, or I'm gonna test for for myself, and then I'm gonna do again a video. But look, it's <laughs> I'm so happy because I'm happy. So. It's working, guys. Why should it not? The things you should now test is, yeah, play some games and um, test it, of course. I got, for now. Oh, really? I got a disc inside? No. Okay, I thought I had a good disc inside. Cool, cool. So let's go and start just for fun. Uh, Dirt Rally 2.0. Fan is turning higher already. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was a real big operation. But it was all the time it was worth. I like it. I love it. Yeah, not connected to the internet, blah, blah, blah. But it's okay. I'm gonna now um, end up this video because I'm totally finished, totally ready, totally tired, totally damaged. And I need now a rest. I need a sleep. And... Uh, gonna do that all next time <laughs> but I'm so happy that I have just get this all working um, yeah with this cooler right now <laughs> so here we go we are in the game already um, uh, no okay yeah okay we are not not connected to the internet and I'm just really too tired. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, time run, time lapse over there. Okay. Any cars, any good. Most important are the four wheels. <laughs> uh, the four tires. I'm tired, yeah. So, um, again, 
here the old uh, backplate heat shield from the 1000 edition then we got also yeah the old one from the 1000 edition that that, that means um i have of course we place this one here and this one so that means we have really just the heat sink from the 1000 edition this part and this part not because they are not really yeah fitting perfect okay and that's why you can just do it like i did you can take this one and this one still from the 1100 edition and then you just get back your heat sink from the 1000 edition yeah it's nice it's sexy it's working i bet it will be cooler i already saw it <laughs> i got all the proofs so this is the shitty one if you like it you can have it <laughs> yeah really a shame i don't know what to say I'm, I'm just really pissed off really i don't know how they can do that stuff yeah okay so fan is running like when you just start the game the fan is turning spinning a little bit faster it should be like that i like this i like this really on the playstation 5 they have finally changed that setting so that means um when you start the game the fan will yeah turn fast and uh when you just close the game so <laughs> i need to check it out because like you already see i'm not using uh, playstation 5 that much because i was working so much on uh, playstation 4 and all the stuff and all the projects so but i think how to close it no give me a second guys i'm, I'm just tired and stupid maybe here somewhere <laughs> you guys will not believe me that i have not used it that much ah here options and let's close and all the fans just quiet again so nice it's quieter than it was before and i thought that it was already quiet before but now it's even quieter i can't hear it anymore so i think i'm gonna just set the fan accelerator again a little bit faster i can't hear it oh this is so nice guys yeah Wow. Of course, we have no cover. That means now the PlayStation is free, it can breathe and all, of course. But um, with these covers here, like I have, it's going to be also very nice. So that's why, yeah. Okay, so this was all for now. I am finished, guys. I hope you like it. Um, a lot thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you like. And uh, thank you very much for all the subscribers and for all your time. I really appreciate it and um, yeah, you guys are just insane guys, really, <laughs> thank you so much. I'm off for now, I really need to sleep, that was all for me, NSC in the place to be, oh yeah. NSC in the place to be, NSC.